Hi, and welcome to the fifth episode of PSC Tech Bytes. Today, I'd like to share with you some information about how to consume the REST APIs provided by the Cloud App Security Service, which is available in Office 365 and Microsoft 365. But before digging into the details of the REST APIs, let me briefly introduce you to the Cloud App Security Service by itself. Well, the Cloud App Security Service is a service that allows us to discover and assess risks in our tenant, as well as to control access in real time and to protect the information we have in our tenant, as well as to protect our infrastructure and our tenant against any threats or any security risk. From a developer perspective, the Cloud App Security Service can be consumed using a bunch of REST APIs, which allows us to do uh, operations like uploading log files, which will be processed by the Cloud App Security Service, or to generate uh, uh, configuration scripts for appliances that are compliant and compatible with the Cloud App Security Service, or, for example, to define uh, IP ranges, which will identify regions of clients uh, worldwide so that we can identify from where requests come from. Moreover, we can read a bunch of events through an activities collection, as well as a bunch of alerts, security alerts, if any. This is really useful whenever you want to create a solution which will consume the cloud of security to create a proactive system to protect against security threats or risks. Whenever you consume the Cloud App Security Service, you need to keep in mind that there are some protocol rules, as well as in any other cloud service. So, for example, by default, you will retrieve information with a top limit of 100 items for each request. And moreover, you can make up to 30 requests every minute, but not more than that, otherwise you will be throttled. Whenever you want to consume the Cloud App Security Service using the REST APIs, you will need to register your application in the security settings of the Cloud App Security Service. You will get back a token, and using that token, you will be able to provide an authorization header in the REST request that you will make targeting the Cloud App Security Service. Then you will be able to use GET or POST requests in order to query list of data or to add or make searches for specific kind of data. So, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how you can register an application and how you can consume the Cloud App Security REST APIs using that application. So, here we are in the dashboard of the Cloud App Security Service. And if you go under the gear menu here in the upper right uh, corner and you select Security Extensions, here you can add under the API tokens a new application. You will simply need to provide the name, so let's call it TechBytes for the sake of uh, simplicity. And once you will have generated the new application, you will have back uh, a new token, which will be the one to use uh, in the authorization header of the HTTP request that you will make against the REST API. If you want to know about uh, how to use the REST APIs, there is an API uh, dash docs uh, uh, endpoint that you can query, and you will get back a set of documentation pages uh, with a bunch of information about how to authenticate, how to access all of the different endpoints, how to do the filters, and so on and so forth. Now, let me switch to the Fiddler tool, and let me show you how you can uh, use the uh, Cloud App Security via REST. So, for example, here I have a request. Let me zoom in to let you see what I'm doing. I'm calling the name of my tenant.eu.portal.cloudappsecurity.com slash API, the version of the API slash activities. Here I provide token, the authorization token, as you can see, that the classic authorization header plus the token trailer and the value of the token that you just registered in the security setting of the Cloud App Security Management uh, Portal. And once you have done that, uh, you can simply make a request, like for example, a GET request for the activities, and you will get back a JSON response with all of the activities in JSON format. Of course, there will be a bunch of items depending on how much active is your tenant. And so you can, for example, do something more like making a filter 
using the following syntax. So you still uh, uh, make a request for the activities and point of the API, but instead of making a get request, you will make a post request. And in the body of the post request, you can provide a JSON object, which will define the filtering criteria. So for example, here I am skipping zero items. So I'm getting the first page. I'm getting no more than 100 items. So the first page of 100 items. And I'm filtering all of the events based on the username of the user who made the action, which raised a new activity in the activities log. If you want to know how to filter, well, you can simply go into the filter section and see how to play with the filters. And for example, for the activities, you can see the filters specific for the activities. The same story applies for the alert, for example. So you can make a get or a post filtered request for all of the alerts, and you will get back in JSON format all of the alerts from the Cloud App Security. Pretty easy. If you want to consume these services using a .NET client or a JavaScript client, you will simply need to make a REST request accordingly to the contract that I showed you. So really powerful and really interesting. So I hope I shared useful information for you and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.